guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am hmm, designing a basket wall and kind of um, <coughs> walking you through my process so let me start off by saying that I have been obsessed with these types of walls like I've literally been thinking about doing something like this for probably a year now been saving things to my Pinterest board and just never got around to it so I figured it was time um, you know I've lived here for almost a year and um, I've yet to really like decorate too much and uh, I guess I finally decided now it, it, it's time to I in this video am going to walk you through my process of how I did it and you know if this is something that you're interested in then by all means hopefully this is helpful um, if these are just types of videos that you like to watch then that's great too was to um, get the baskets <laughs> seems pretty self-explanatory in my opinion um, so I thought that this would be a relatively easy and cheap sort of project uh, because I thought that I could just you know simply go to thrift stores and find everything that I needed and expensive you know reduce reuse recycle and all of that fun stuff um, turns out that was not the case so throughout right now you're seeing various clips of places that I went to I did definitely start out with thrift stores and um, I found a couple of like really good gems in my opinion and a couple of these um, that you're gonna see a little bit later you know you don't really look at and think that this would work um, because I also wanted flat baskets um, I realized after going to the thrift stores that flat baskets don't exist or they're very rare and uh, that logically makes sense because um, baskets are meant to hold things and if it's flat how is it supposed to hold things so don't ask me why it took me five trips to a thrift store to come to that realization um, but, but that is what happened <laughs> after you know a couple of gyms but ultimately a few failed attempts of going to thrift stores I hit you know actual stores and what I ended up finding out were the gems of this and like really pulled everything together were placemats and wicker is essentially what I you know realized is what I was looking for and um, wicker is very popular right now very like boho chic and so it wasn't very hard to find placemats that worked but they're all the same size um so i kind of ran into that dilemma where i didn't want too many that were similar in size taking the baskets that i found that weren't necessarily the type that i wanted them to be i.e flat was taking an excruciating amount of time to figure out how I wanted to arrange them and by excruciating I mean that I probably spent about 45 minutes on just literally rearranging them
was a very uh, extra step if you will. It's not really something that's necessary, uh, but it made me feel better about it. So I took a really shitty picture of the wall. <laughs> and by shitty, it's because the pillows beneath are very blurry. And I took all of the screen grabs from rearranging the baskets on my, you know, dining room floor hung them in the picture where they would normally go because I just wanted to see how it looked up on the wall and above my bed. legitimately hanging it on the wall and even with that I ended up playing around with it a little bit more because I didn't recreate it exactly how it was in the picture so it looked a little off when I would step back and uh, yes yeah, so I just fidgeted with it just just a tiny bit more to have decorated uh, my home and make my bedroom feel a little bit more warm and uh, inviting. I don't know, inviting to myself, yes, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, that I think is all that I have to say though. So if you have not yet, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on all of my other social medias. They are linked down below. Um, watch my other videos, that'd be super cool, and uh, that's all. So I'll see you guys next time.